Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mona Project. We here at the Mona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, and uh, advice uh, to Noahides, to converts to Judaism, and to um, the Balichova, the people who were born Jewish but are now returning uh, to Judaism. And um, I'm reminded of a verse in the book of Numbers, uh, chapter 7, verse 1, where it says, And it was on that day that Moses finished setting up the Mishkan, the, the tabernacle. Moses finished. And a very perceptive young lady uh, came to me with respect to this verse, and she says, What is the Torah talking about? It wasn't Moses who set up the tabernacle. It was... Uh, uh, Betzalel, Ohaliav, an entire crew of craftsmen and artisans and the, the Levites and Moses didn't do it. Why is the Torah saying Moses did it? He didn't do it. And uh, how can one person do it? It's impossible, physically impossible. Um, the walls alone, heavy and beams and what's the Torah talking about? Uh, how can one person do it? And I said to her, as I so often do, uh, you're not the very first person to ask this question. Moses himself, in uh, Midrash, uh, the Midrash Tanhoma to Parshas uh, Pekude, uh, quotes Moses as asking God, how is it possible for a man to set up the walls of the, of the Mishkan, of the tabernacle, on his own? Um, at the shot, at the basic black and white surface level, He's talking about the physicality, the physics of how can I do beams and walls and, and curtains and anyone who's had a, a look at the, what was involved in the erecting of the Mishkan, of the tabernacle, it's a lot of work. It takes a small army of men to do it. Um, although B'Tzalel and everyone um, did the actual work, the Torah ascribes the honor to Moshe Rabbeinu, to Moses, um, because he was the one who had this uh, tenacious dedication to getting things exactly right, exactly according to the wish of uh, God, um, exactly to the instructions, the walls, the beams, the pillars, the curtains, the utensils, the artifacts, everything that was made according to precise dimensions, and that each craftsperson who did the work executed his task exactly right. This is what honored him with the distinction of uh, erecting um, the tabernacle. Um, it is said um, that when uh, Moses was about to erect the tabernacle, there was these two schools of thought. One they were talking about it and planning it and, 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 and setting up meetings and discussions and nothing ever came of it. And the other ones thought, oh, well, we can do this, uh, you know, and they tried to set it up or they, they were thinking about how to do it, but it never got off the ground. It just, it just failed. Uh, so too these days, whenever there's a, a project on hand, you seem to have the people who are talking and planning and meeting and discussion and nothing ever, they never accomplish it. And the other ones who think they, they, they could do it without God's help and uh, it falls uh, flat in his face. Um, anyone who's trying to set up Jewish institutions, Torah learning, schools, whatever, This kind of stuff is a process, and a process that has to follow a certain way. Talk alone is cheap. Um, going ahead uh, without proper planning, without uh, trust and faith in God, it's probably not going to work out so well. Um, these institutions which transmit uh, Torah values uh, to us and also to the next generation. This kind of Judaism um, is an ongoing performance. It's not a one-act thing. It's an, it's, a, it's an ongoing performance, no intermissions. Um, you have to go through it. Um, um, there's no ceasing in the process of growth. 
It has to go on. And we have to uh, s uh, trust and seek um, divine uh, inspiration, and divine, uh, divine guidance, divine help to achieve our goal of a Kiddush Shem Shemaim, uh, sanctification, the name of heaven. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Muna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.